Hi everybody, my name is Zoe Andike and this is my Thought Space Athletics in the Bag. I'm gonna go from my fastest speeds to my slow speeds and then obviously end with my putters. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the contents of my bag. So just reaching in here with my main drivers. I have an overstable, super overstable Zeus. And this is really only ever pulled out for like major ripping headwind. And if I have to go so extreme left, it's just not even funny. I can't get max distance with this driver. It's literally in here as a tool for headwind and something that just has to go ridiculously left. Doesn't come out actually even during every tournament or practice round I play. It's just there for when I need it. Always carrying this year a DK Cataclysm. This is actually by Doomsday Discs, but Dustin Keegan is my travel life partner and best friend. And so him having his name on a disc this year, really important to me. This is a very flippy distance driver and uh, just kind of gives you that extra boom boom when you're not feeling like crushing and ripping your arm out of socket. The Cataclysm is kind of a fun one. I would recommend trying it. I've got now uh, one of the more overstable emperors in my bag. Now, I will throw this in a headwind, I'll throw this without any wind. I'm throwing this for max distance up any fairway, whether it be a par three, four, or five. Max distance that's gonna get a little bit of flip up to flat, but will always finish with a pretty left hand drastic turn. I'm a righty backhand dominant thrower, so that's the shots I'm describing right now. Uh, it's pretty much the only time I'm pulling this one out is max D and make sure it finishes left. Now I want to go to my very, very flippy eye blend emperor. Now this is kind of like a do-it-yourself roller or if I'm at high elevations or I have a really drastic uphill shot, I'm definitely going to throw this disc for max distance up a hill, super, super high elevation. Again, this is the disc that's going to get the farthest straight. I can put it down on a roller distance rollers backhand are always a fun shot with this do it yourself easily and then again because it's a 12 speed I like the 12 speeds for my distance drivers this is coming out anytime I've got to pull off a very tricky shot that might want to finish right or if I put it on a drastic hyzer I can flip it up to flat to pan straight so next thing I pull out of the bag the most often and I'm actually gonna flip them out because now we're talking thought space and we're talking the art of thought space. My glowy mantra. This was my very first signature driver on Team Thought Space. Uh, it is the glow plastic. It shines the brightest. And again, I throw backhand rollers with this, flip to flat, or big, huge panning right Anheusers because this is a very flippy disc and that's a shot and a tool we all need in our bags. The stamp itself, I mean, it holds so much power. It's actually, it reminds me of my rhythm and routine. And sometimes when you're on the tee box, you might be thinking a little bit too much about got to get the most distance or got to hit the line, but don't forget to go through your entire routine. Practice the things that you adopt as your own mantra. Okay, from there, carry usually just a minimum of two different Sphinx molds. Thought Space Athletics actually designs, even though this is an infinite disc, they always design my stamps and I've had my name on this disc for I think four years now. It's a Speed 9 and depending on the stability, this one's very beat up so it can pan right. But this one is a little bit more overstable and domier versus flatter of a Sphinx. And the Sphinx is a sweet disc. I always like to say it's like if a, if a disc with zero stability and a disc with some under stability decided to get together and glide farther than anything you can imagine. So this Speed 9 can go as far as my distance drivers, but I have some safety when I'm throwing it. It can put the, it can put the brakes on at just the right time and I'm getting max distance out of it. So both Sphinxes are swirly S-blend and they're my stamp. This one's pretty faded, you can tell. 
It's my, my good old favorite number one in the bag. But yeah, I'm pretty much putting a new one in just about every, every couple of months because I like that finish on the newer ones, whereas these are gonna finish straight for me. And back to another different plastic mantra. I love the stamp on this one and I always tell people if you like the way the stamp looks on your disc, you might throw it better. If you love something, you treat it a little bit, I don't know, better. And so I just love this one on the Aura Plastic. It's also a little bit more stable than my Glowy Mantra. And so, and it, it flies differently than the Sphinx's. I can get some flip up to flat on this one, but it'll finish harder than a Sphinx. And that is something different for the Mantra blend actually, or the Mantra mold. Again, I'm used to it being super understable where I can depend on this one to finish for me. And now I wanna talk about more overstable discs because we will have headwind and we'll have a lot of fairways that direct us left. The Construct. I am so into the Construct. Right now, I have a very nice dyed Dr. Dre stamp. Um, and if anybody out there knows me, they know I spend a lot of my off time studying hip hop, freestyle, and um, just a lot of rap and, and freestyle type jams. Dr. Dre writes or makes some of the best beats and he, this is the third edition of him in my bag since I started playing disc golf. And it's on a construct. It's a super powerful disc. It's overstable for me. I mean, I can get it to fly straight for quite a while, but it's gonna finish hard. Uh, I can play a lot of skip shots with this. And when I do pull out my forehand for approaches, I will throw either the construct or the omen. So the construct, um, one other thing I want to say about that disc is that I put it up onto drastic hyzer shots. If I need to go up and over or around anything and finish sharp left, it's going to be the construct. And if I have to get sharper left than something that I, I don't typically have to go that sharp, I'm going, to, I'm going to go over to the Omen. Now, it's not quite as fast as the construct for me, but this disc is definitely made for a sidearm or a flick approach, drive, anytime you want to throw it. This is the disc that's gonna go to the right now for me. Flick, you know, a little sidearm. The Omen is just cool too, and I have continued to change up the Omen stamps. They're, they're all just so awesome. When you look at Thought Space art, it gets you hyped, and the Omen has to be just a beefcake. I mean, a brick, and the artwork itself gives you that kind of like assurance because it's such a strong stamp that it's gonna go to the right. You can trust those stamps, you can trust that disc. Um, and now my last fairway but slower driver, I always keep Paige Pierce in the bag. She's one of my best friends, one of my buddies. I'm super proud of all of her accomplishments and when she actually tooled the passion, this is a Discraft passion, there was no way I wasn't going to throw it and it immediately replaced my straightest kind of medium speed thrower in a T-Bird. And so I've never ever had a T-Bird in the bag since I put the passion in. And every time I pull this disc out, I know it's going dead straight. I can throw it for something short, like 200 and 250 feet, and I can also get it to go pretty far. I can throw this, I'm gonna say around 320, 330 if I'm really railing on it. But the thing is, is I can trust it to fly straight and finish straight, and I love it. All right, my mid-ranges. Uh, the only ace that I have right now on Thought Space, or with a Thought Space mold is my original Pathfinder. The Pathfinder is one of the coolest mid-ranges out there because you can trust it to go straight. You can trust it to glide for days. To me, glide is really important. A lot of my game is really played on gl with glide, very glide-worthy discs. And so this, uh, this mid-range is something that not only does it go neutral and straight, but any angle that you're putting it on it will fly. So I can get this thing to pan right if I'm hitting it with the proper angle and putting enough force into it, but I can also throw a hyzer with it. So it kind of tells you it's an everything disc and it's a mid range. So it's not going to get too squirrely when, once it's going to hit the ground, it won't go kick up and roll or get a lot of skip. It's going to stick right there where you want it to land. So Pathfinder has got to be one of the best molds and most popular molds that we sell. I'm sure it's a super, dependable disc. And now, my current favorite, again, it's my stamp, it's the Mana, the Thought Space Mana. It's about everything that this disc can do. It encapsulates literally everything I feel and I think about when I, when I play disc golf. It's my passion, it's my work, 
It's my daily desire. It's my athletic and happy activities. The mana encapsulates that because it can do so many different shots. It can glide far. It can, it can also just be a chip shot. So this is a speed five, but it has all kinds of variants. If you put it onto sharp angles, you can get it to fly right or left on the angle you want. But the thing about this disc that is really the most incredible is that maybe sometimes slower arm speeds will have a hard time getting something to hold Anheuser or hold that right side, right hand pan. The mana does it for you. I mean, and it's not just gonna like knife down to the ground. It's gonna fly and then pan to the right if you put everything into it. Uh, this disc is, it's also really nice for smaller hands. Uh, bigger hands can throw it, but because of that five speed like thickness on the rim, it feels, it feels like a disc that you could throw as a driver for a newer player or for some slower arm speeds. And it's just like a really easy disc for people to start off with or begin their disc golf career with. Um, again, really beautiful stamp, so it makes me smile when I throw it. The happier you feel inside right before you're gonna release a shot, the better the shot's gonna fly. So, love this stamp, love this disc. Get a mana. If you don't have one in your bag, just know that once you put one in, your selection of your in your tool bag will now become much larger. You can do more with this disc. And at the current moment, got a nice little knee pad in there. Uh, I have a zone, a good old disc craft zone because it is so overstable. For those sidearm chip shots or for those really drastic, I've got to get left and use some ground action skip. I'm going to throw the zone. And the time that I wouldn't throw that, I would throw the Thought Space Temple. This is a, a brand new clean beauty that I just put in the bag for this weekend. Um, so it doesn't have a beautiful stamp on it right now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on there. But the temple is the chip shot sidearm that I don't want to skip too far, but that will hold up in the wind as well. Zone and temple, different uses, very drastic, very trustworthy, not gonna skip too far. All right, now I'm gonna move on to my putters. Uh, throwing putters first. Let's go with, again, Paige in the bag. Got the passion, this is one of the very, or excuse me, the fierce. This is one of the very, um, this is the first disc that Paige ever got to put some tooling on. And it is an understable throwing putter for me. If I have a huge distance putt that's uphill, you might see me putt this one towards the basket. Again, it's a big jump putt, uphill, lot of distance to carry. I need that glide, Passion's a great disc. And then for my, my neutral to stable throwing putter, I know it looks like it's the mantra, but don't worry, it's not a driver. This is a Praxis, okay? It is my throwing putter. I have literally never had the Praxis out of my bag since I started throwing for ThoughtSpace. Um, and I was actually on Team ThoughtSpace before we even had molds. So when the Praxis came out, instantly, it became my number one throwing putter or throwing of a slow speed. Now, I'm so lucky that the guys at, at the warehouse love me so much that they put one of my special signature stamps on it. But this glow will hold up. It will never flip over on me. I can throw it straight for days or I can throw it straight and let it finish. It's always hunting basket, but it's landing and not getting a lot of ground play. Praxis is it. I've also chained out of so many aces with this disc. I know it's hunting basket. I trust it, I believe in it. The Praxis is something everyone should have in the bag. And then there's my putting putters. I'm the 2018 world putting champion for the female pro open division. And so daggers are what I did it with. Um, the dagger is super deep dish, unlike all of the other putters I just showed you. There's something about that big bead and that deep dish, but it's really like the hard plastic. I'm a hard plastic putter, always have been. Doesn't matter if it's hot weather or cold weather. Hard plastic does it for me and the daggers glide and they just go straight. They have no right to left variance and I love them. So daggers do it for me. Daggers to the heart of the basket. Daggers all day is what you will see me putting unless I need that little bit of glide from the passion or kind of that turnover putter, Anheuser putter line. It's the only time I'm gonna stray from the dagger. And that's actually what's in my bag, what I'm throwing with. I wanna transition really quickly to talk about what else is in my bag that makes the disc golf round happen. 
make sure I'm safe, make sure I'm taken care of out on the course and doing everything proper. You have to have a mini to mark your discs. So I always carry one of Dustin and I at the 2018 World Championships. And then my number one mini during competition is Paige and I. This was clear back in 2017. Uh, just one of our years touring together. How can you not smile when you see something like that on your mini? And you would want to smile, whether you're showing it outwardly or you're just smiling inside. Right before you putt, you got to have a solid, confident, and for me, just kind of a happy feeling. It makes you feel good when you're making putts. So you probably want to feel good right before you release the putter. And the last thing I do is take a, a quick look at the mini before I release the disc. Both of these make me extremely happy. There's good juju in the minis as well. All right. My bag itself is pound. I'm super lucky to have, be carrying the most comfortable and the best bag on the market. Everything is made right here in uh, the United States. It's a beautiful bag you can custom make them. Can't say enough things about them, but it's really about the support and making sure that my lower back feels good and that my shoulders have enough cushion. This is also a very weatherproof bag, so it doesn't matter the conditions that I'm in anywhere in the world. This bag's gonna hold up for me and like the confidence of knowing that is super important. So couldn't say enough great things about the pound bag and the rain flies that they make for them. But now I wanna just talk quickly about what's inside of it or outside of it. I've got this beautiful eagle pin. Everybody in disc golf loves birdies and loves eagles. You know, eagles usually mean it's like an ace or an albatross. So I've got a lot of juju on there and it's about who gifted it to me. It was the very first board president of the nonprofit that I founded and currently direct called You Play Disc Golf. My first board president, Marshall Peter, gave me that pin and he empowers me with a lot of confidence and a lot of just kind of clear, motivated thinking, which is what you have to have if you want to be successful in any disc golf round, be it casual or tournament got to have those elements inside of you and when I'm looking at that pin I'm feeling those things uh, oh finishing looking at the outside of the bag I got some special patchwork out over here Cole Radalin Dustin and I uh, put the first discs in Cole's hand and he's currently winning pro tour events so I got to shout out some of the some of the biggest accomplishments of my life in education and Cole Radalin fits under that huge category Missy Gannon, close friend I'm traveling, or usually traveling with and rooting for. Bevel Brewing, Nate and Val, big shout out, and Justin Summer. Um, I guess you could call me a lifelong sponsored bevel et. And that's just kind of a, one of those things where I support, I support the work they're doing for the world of disc golf to become better and more available to everyone. I enjoy doing some of my commentary work with them for the Disc Golf Network and I really enjoy their life goals, executing them, staying committed, and that's Bevel Brewery. So a lot of big support there. Val Jenkins has been on my board of directors also in Uplay and thinking, looking at that patch and thinking about that type of commitment and that type of support just gives me confidence. This is the DK basket or Dustin Keegan kind of patch, if you will. And DK is my everything, in case you haven't noticed. He's, he's literally like the, the wind under my sails. So I gotta have that patch. Luke Humphreys, you know I gotta shout out Luke and Hoagie and Angie. My team, big supporters, again, huge for the game and the growth and everything that speaks volumes to why I'm doing everything I'm doing in disc golf. Luke has a big piece of my heart and commitment to the nonprofit and to the game. So he's on the bag. And last patches. I've always, always carried anything that had to do with Paige, so I got the, the Fierce patch. I've also always repped Canada and Canadian disc golf very hard. I've got some um, Canadian roots in the blood, but it's really more so about what's going on. East Coast, West Coast, Central, everything in between, all the provinces have something special going on in disc golf, and I've always known it and counted myself a huge part of it. Um, and so I've got, I'm always repping the Canadian flag. And my very first um, Paul Macbeth Foundation partnership educational sustainability trip was to Guatemala. There's a ton more of those coming up, but I'm really proud to be able to do the work I do and rep in the countries that I feel like we've done great work in. So I've got that Guatemala flag. And I wanna kind of speed things up. Everybody's gotta have towels, extra towels, towels. Everybody's gotta have snacks, hopefully healthy, gluten-free, dairy-free, low sugar count would be my recommendation. 
Um, got the nice little cell phone pouchy there, but up and then water again. Then you got your range finder. I also carry like a good luck crystal in there. Rocks and gems and things of the earth are important to me, but got to know the range. Sometimes you can't just guess with your eyes. Shout out to uh, the edge range finder because like that's a huge part of the game. And really when, they, when we were able to start using range finders in the game, I think it elevates the level of play. And those are just cool things in the professional game of disc golf. This one's important, Trash Panda Mini with a U-Disc QR code. I always carry these to give away. You don't know when you're gonna meet somebody that doesn't know what disc golf is or that's new to disc golf. And everybody loves like a free mini, a free giveaway. But if you're giving them U-Disc and you're telling them about Trash Panda, those are two companies I can get behind and that I'm partnered or friends with and supported by with the nonprofit. And the more you can give the gift of disc golf or make it accessible for people, the better we're doing in the sport. So I always carry two, three, or four Trash Panda Minis with a U-Disc QR code. Make sure everybody can access the best disc golf anywhere in the world. Um, and let's see, that's bringing us to my final pockets. Always got my whale sack. This specifically is a Uplay whale sack, but I think I was one of the first people um, on Team Whale Sacks, and I trust the tack that Whale Sack gives my sweaty hands, slick hands. Whale Sacks is where it's at. Uh, sunscreen, of course. I always carry chapstick or hand sanitizer for those really sticky situations. If you're getting sap or um, any kind of any kind of stickiness on your disc, it doesn't take long if you put some of that hand sanitizer or chapstick on it and just wipe it with a lot of force right off your disc. That's a pro tip. You can't throw discs that are sticky. Get that off of there. Carry the proper items in your bag to do it. That's what I do it with. Um, and then in this pocket, got a bunch of bag dollars in case you see an ace or just in case you really want to reward someone and make their day. Always carry bag dollars. If you're in the running, you know, 20, the running 50, the five, you want to pay anytime you see a magic shot or a miracle shot and that's an ace. You want to be a part of that club no matter if you're a new disc golfer or a pretty seasoned old touring disc golfer. Carry bag dollars. It's a sign of respect and it sure is motivating when you see those cool shots to reward them. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I, I just want to finish this whole thing out by, oh, it must be down here. Even if you don't carry them in your bag. Um, I've got my 10 processing goals and this is like the gnarliest because I laminated it with tape in like 2013. But I've got my, uh, my 10 processing goals with the 11th bonus on there and I don't even pull them out to read them anymore. But if you have ever taken a clinic from me, if you've ever been to any of my motivational speeches, Maybe some of the reason Thought Space uh, wanted to put me on the team originally is that my processing goals and everything about the way I played disc golf is something I'll never stray from. I typed them out years ago. I'd recommend doing the same for your own game. Write it on the back of a disc, type it out, put it somewhere in there, tattoo it inside of your heart, whatever it is, stick to what it is that you believe in. Stick to those fundamentals that brought you into the game and develop and add upon them in your passion. Um, that's what disc golf's all about. That's why it, it makes us all happier when we play and we get a chance to play. And that's why we wanna share the game with so many. Disc golf is different and it's unique. And I wanna thank you for watching and listening to my In The Bag. It's all in my heart and uh, hopefully it helped you.